Hello, and welcome to Our Devotions. We're together, we're developing lives with God at the center. I'm Pastor Daniel, this is my amazing wife, Amanda. Hello, today we're gonna to be talking about hard hearts, starting off in the book of Hebrews. So grab your Bible and get ready to dive right in with us. super important topic that is really easy to think of somebody else's problem. I think it's really easy to be like, yeah, there's awful people with hard hearts. <laughs> but to recognize how easy it happens is, is honestly scary. Because a hard heart isn't a physical condition where your heart turns into a stone. Right. It's a slow process. It's a slow process. Hardening is a slow process that allows you to no longer feel. Mm. Hardening of a heart is like developing a callus. And you know, well, well how, does, how does that happen? Well, just you keep doing something and ignoring the slight discomfort. Yeah, and it reminds me of like going barefoot in the summer. At first it's painful, and yep. then over time, I don't, even, I don't think I even know how long it takes for my feet to get calloused enough to not care going barefoot. Just all of a sudden one day it doesn't bother you anymore. I feel like that's very similar to a hardened heart. Yeah. All of a sudden, things that used to bother you just don't. Just don't. And Jesus talks about people getting divorced, and he's asked why. He's like, oh, this one has to do with the hardness of their heart. And, and he goes through these different things going, our life is greatly affected by a hard heart. Yeah. But there's not a day that you just wake up and go, oh, I have a hard heart today. Yeah. Like, it's not like this big flip a switch. It's this gradual process. Well, how does this process come about. In Hebrews 3, 8, he says today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion. We're reflecting back on their journey through, through the wilderness. But when you hear God's voice, if you choose not to listen, he says, that's how you harden. Yeah. And there's a lot of confusion. When you look in the book of Exodus and it talks about Pharaoh hardening his heart, and I've, I'm going to have to do a message or a series of messages on this. I think I've got, I don't know, it's just act like this, of, of <laughs> notes on this on my desk. And it's probably good I didn't bring them down because I only have a few minutes. But when you look at Pharaoh, some of the spots talk about Pharaoh hardening his heart. And some of them talk about God hardening his heart. Mm. And that leaves a lot of people in confusion going, why would God harden Pharaoh's heart? But this is it. If you hear his voice... Do not harden your heart. Yeah. You harden when you have an opportunity to obey. Right. So when God spoke, and if you start this out, Pharaoh says, Who is the Lord that I should obey his voice and let Israel go? I will not let Israel go. And he starts out this challenge. I don't want to listen because I don't know who he is. So when God responded and then Pharaoh decided, Nope, still not going to listen. He was hardening. Yeah. And they go, well, it was in response to God's voice that he hardened. Therefore, it goes, you know, hey, God hardened his heart. God showed up in power and Pharaoh decided how to respond. Yeah. And you'll watch this throughout. Well, God is speaking. Well, you're hearing God's word. You're hearing it when you get into the word. You're hearing it as we open up God's word. You're hearing it on Sunday when you get in and you, you're hearing the message. Are you applying it or are you ignoring it? Because if we ignore it, yeah, then as you said, it's like that you run out there that first time in the spring, you're like, ooh, ow, ow. Like you recognize, mm, this isn't what I should be watching. This isn't how I should be talking. This isn't how I should be treating them. This isn't what, what God says to do with my finances. This isn't, yeah. and, and the list keeps going. And the Bible talks about it here is hardening your heart. Another spot talks about their consciousness being seared. Yeah. And some people are like, oh, it doesn't bother me anymore. That's, that's, not that's not a good, a good thing. thing. <laughs> that means you've become so calloused that you stop hearing or caring what God's word says. Yeah. And people will often say that about different sin that they have learned to tolerate. That means that they've become calloused. Yeah. And we have to be on guard. And we, uh, I love in Psalms chapter 51, as David is repenting and going, God created me a clean heart. Yeah. 
create in me. And he's going to soften my heart again because I've become calloused. I have let compromise in and it turned me into something else. And we need to regularly reflect and go, God, have I become hard somewhere? Have I become calloused? Yeah. God, soften my heart again. I want to hear your voice. Unplug my ears. And it's a, it's a powerful thing. And it's life-changing when we, when we get our heart soft. And it can be life-changing if we let them get hard, but in a very right. different way. I'm trying to remember where it is, where the word is talking about when people continue to sin and don't listen to God, it says that he turns them over to it and he just says, okay, fine, have your way. And that's why it's so scary when someone says, oh, the sin used to bother me, but now I have peace with it. You're like, no, 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 that's not good. <laughs> that's, that's not that's peace. A red, that's a red flag. That yeah. means that God has finally said, fine, have it your way. And you have plugged your ears to the conviction that he used to be speaking over you. Yeah. And so we want to we want to live lives that are sensitive to His Spirit. We yes. want to be quick to obey, to be quick to listen, and and that's just a an important reminder for us to check yeah. that we all need. Well, let's get into our confessions and confess God's word over us. All right, repeat these out loud after me, okay? I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I'm the righteousness of God. I am the righteousness of God. In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. I resist the devil. I resist the devil. And he flees from me. And he flees from me. My prayers are powerful and effective. My prayers are powerful and effective. I live generously. I live generously. Overflowing with God's love. Overflowing with God's in love. In all I do. In all I do. I am filled with the fruit of the Spirit. I am filled with the fruit of the Spirit. With love, joy, peace. With love, joy, peace. Patience, kindness, goodness. Patience, kindness, goodness. Faithfulness, gentleness and self-control faithfulness gentleness and self-control i fix my eyes on jesus i fix my eyes on jesus and live to carry out his mission on the earth and live to carry out his mission on the earth i am quick to listen i'm quick to listen slow to speak slow to speak and slow to become angry and slow to become angry i take every thought captive i take every thought captive and make them obey god and make them obey god god i thank you that we can take our thoughts captive that we can turn our hearts towards you yes. god i ask if there's spots that have become calloused and hardened in our lives, God, sins that we've gotten used to, that we have no longer feeling or hearing your prompt, God, that you would soften our hearts, that you would grant yes, us God. repentance and a clean heart, God, that we could be, be sensitive again to your spirit, to your leading, that we could flee from compromise, refuse to sin, and that we could seek you first. God, that relationships would be restored as hearts are softened. Yes, and God, Lord. that these walls would come down and that we would see your will done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us. We hope that this encouraged you. If it did, if you could please hit like, share, and subscribe. And we want to invite you into God's Word so you can encounter God and discover all that He has for you. Be blessed. We'll see you again soon.